Back at the London Boat Show, we saw the spy shots in March. We tested the prototype, but here it is at Southampton 2018, the finished Princess R35. And we have to say, it looks pretty spectacular in its signal red paint over that wonderful Pininfarina body. We know there's a lot of technology on this boat. It's 100% carbon fibre, apart from one small panel. It has a pair of 430 horsepower petrol V8s, and of course that active forwarding system that adjusts to the sea state to make the ride as comfortable as possible. All that technology doesn't come cheap though. It's £535,000 for VAT. Let's get on board and have a closer look at the finished product. Clearly, stylistically, there's a lot going on here, but this sweeping stern area you can see here has function as well as form. You can see that the vents down here either side of the buttresses, they're designed to release the pressure a bit so you don't get spray being pulled back into the boat when your occupants don't get absolutely soaked. Let's jump on board and have a closer look. So this is where all the action happens. A lot of this is quite familiar. You have your standard princess steering wheel, you have the Volvo Penta throttles, joystick, bow thruster, but then you have this keypad here, and this is the crucial one. This is the control for the AFS active foiling system. And as you can see here, you have comfort mode and you have sport mode. They are preset, and then you also have individual controls, so you can maneuver the foils uh, into whatever position you like to make the ride as comfortable as it needs to be. And that information is relayed up into the Princess R35 app that is within the Garmin MFD. Really slick, it looks really slick. What we need to find out, and we will do soon enough, is whether it works in action. Let's not kid ourselves, this is a 15 up performance boat. There isn't a huge amount of focus on living space below decks, but there are some nice touches down here all the same. Of course, this does fold down so that you can have a proper sized bed down here big hatch overhead so there's a decent amount of natural light and one nice touch even though it's not on now is this screen here is actually linked to a forward facing camera so when you're down here you can see like when you're on an A380 the direction that the boat is travelling in. You also have a bathroom on here which is a reasonable size, crouching room more than standing room but it means that day trips can be more comfortable and you have a reasonable little galley, there's a sink, you have a fridge area, just about what you need for a day out on the water.